project this year, I pretty much did it the same way I've always done it. Uh, I looked at uh, the end of June, where we were and what we had, uh, projected it out over 12 months, and then tried to make the adjustments uh, where they seem to need to be made. Um, you probably will notice that uh, line, where are we? On the seven, seven, it's not here, but on the cemetery improvement lines, which we've carried $1 year after year, we're moving up that to $5,000 this year. We hope this to be an annual housekeeping type thing. We, we, we have a 160-year-old cemetery there, and we have an infrastructure that hasn't been tended to, and I don't know when. Um, I'm talking about trees, I'm talking about roads, I'm talking about uh, irrigation, I'm talking about restoration, we, we're talking about possibly moving the gate. Um, we know we won't get all that done this year, we probably won't get it done in five years, ten years, but to uh, quote President Kennedy in, in his inauguration, uh, let us begin. And other than that, Susan? No, you. Okay. I guess that's all I have here. Questions? questions right now no. um, I don't have that many questions but I will tell you I've had several people that have commented lately on uh, the possibility of changing something to do with fencing that's around yes. there yes uh, the fact that it's a yep. chain link fence yep. and I've suggested maybe they do a Warren article or something like that I'm not really sure which is the best way to go but yeah, let us begin to make it look more. That, that is one. That is one of the things on the table for us, Rick. That that fence uh, back sometime in the '60s. I'm not sure when. The state made a law that all cemeteries have a circumference around them, and they put up that stucco wall to start with. And I guess that didn't work out too well. So that's what led to the fence. That no longer is a law. And uh, Susan has really been on this, right? So this may be one of the things we will be addressing. I think beautifying it, it doesn't, certainly it doesn't need a chain link fence. And uh, I'm not sure if this law does, isn't there anymore. Maybe it doesn't even have a fence. Yeah. Uh, no, it, they're I no longer you, required by law. Yeah, and you know, p people do, it's amazing how many times I've heard about people that do go there for a lot of different reasons. He's sometimes to visit people, sometimes just to have a contemplative uh, walk. Uh, it should be more inviting, and a chain link fence makes it uninviting. Well, we certainly don't want to. So, but you don't want to get there too soon. The whole idea of a cemetery. <laughs> well, the whole idea of a cemetery is for a place for people to go for peace. You know, and that, yeah, you know. so there, there. So I hope they find a peace inside. Uh, I hope they're telling you that. Yeah, I know. In the past, we've worked on things where, like, the pe person that wanted a dog spa next to it, where there could be. 130 bar barking dogs. I mean, we've prevented those things. Yes. So now it's time to be proactive and do something to beautify. So I totally agree with that. Thank you, Rick. Phil? And so under cemetery improvements, to speak to uh, Selectman Griffins, um, you're requesting 5,000. What, what is that going to? We don't know yet, Phil. We're, we're going to meet all, all the things I mentioned. I don't, I don't know where we're going to start. I probably, Susan would probably say, well, well I'm big on getting that fence gone. <laughs> Pardon me? I'm big on getting that fence gone because it looks like a prison yard. Yeah. But we've talked about taking down trees. We have to do something about some of the roadways. So if we can get the 5000 then we'll decide which one of our projects. In, 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 are you talking about the front on High Street for starters for the fence? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Could we, could we um, if the board allows, and I think Rick makes a, a great uh, point, uh, could you get an estimate on that? And I know there's local fence, there's two or three of them. Mm -hmm. Get get some yeah, bids and, to do that. and come back here. If you don't already have them, uh, uh, in a week, week and a half, um, and add that to your budget. Look at that 5,000. It's a pretty simple thing. It's a straight shot of fence. Right. Um, and uh, come back here for you. But if the board wants to, I think it's completely doable. Taking it down, we can probably get it done for nothing. Yeah, and I know Mr. Welch has been a big supporter of taking care of our people that have departed. Oh, yeah, that's a very important thing. We can get, the county has offered to use uh, the prisoners, the exemplary prisoners, <laughs> from the, the county uh, facility 
to come over and do work for us, provided we provide them with pizza for lunch and we provide them with equipment to do the work. That's and all well, good, and Fred, but I've been hearing that for 20 years and it never seems to happen. Nobody has asked me. Well, I've asked okay. on many times. I've and, they, and, they, and they've always told me the same thing. They said, yeah, sure, we'll get in touch with you, and I never hear from them. Yeah, well. So I've been around a little bit longer than you. The sheriff asked us to do that. Well, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to take them on. I'd be more than happy to buy them pizza. So that's fine. Okay, I, I have a few questions myself. Just on the regular wages going up 2.41. That is? Yes. Yeah. That's contractual or that's? Anybody giving me an answer? Well, this is what we agreed to. This is what I submitted to the uh, trustees, and this is what they approved. It's not contractual. We're not, not contractual. We don't have contracts okay. with them, okay. no. Okay. No. I'm just asking. Uh, Part-time wages going up 3.19? Yeah. And that's not contractual. But, but what, what reason? And just that most, most of the time when somebody comes in and they go through their budget and they go line by line, they give us the reason why they've done something. Well, I can do that if you like. I, I would, please. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, regular wages, that's me. Uh, you know, an increase to 44.7. Part-time wages, I again, I looked where I was in June. Uh, none of my guys have had a raise for some time now, so I do wish to give them a raise this year. So that, that, that plays into that. Health insurance, we just have that at $500 only to keep it open. I have my health insurance through another venue. Medicare, uh, retirement. Uh, con uh, contracted services that includes that that means people I hire to do certain work like the plumber comes in today to shut the water off or if we hire someone to do the fence that would all come out of contracted services telephone electric right, hang on one second contracted services the budget lot was three thousand dollars and you've spent seven hundred mm -hmm. and you're asking for a sixty six percent increase well we're going to be spending more the, 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 most of that gets spent in the in the fall. Okay, so that's that's when we have the water turned off and I have have other things of that nature done. Um, telephone, like ele uh, electric, we're hoping. I've we've been running low on that. I've increased telephone the, up eighty seven percent. What's what's that? It's eight hundred this year. It's five ninety nine. It's going to fifteen. Right. Well, once it, well, it, it it was when I looked at it in June. I I went from there. I, I saw where I was in June, and it looked like it was going to be more than eight hundred to me. So I put in fifteen hundred. Heat and fuel. That's the, the heat for the cemetery. Obviously, we haven't had that on since. Uh, February or March, but we will be turning it on soon. Water is uh, the most unpredictable line. I kind of wanted to come up and talk to the Aquarian guys when they were here. I, I just never know where water is going to go. We, like, we shut off the water. I remember several years ago, we shut off the water, well, this time of year, November. And I remember December 7th of uh, one year, I, also, I got a $2,700 bill from Aquarian no idea how could that be i went to see him and they said no a thousand dollars is wrong it's 1700 but it still put me over budget that year and i still uh well they're still they're still uh nailing them to Roland page not be you know Roland page only passed in 1990 but that's okay uh repairs and maintenance those are, those are repairs to our machines uh, all, all our equipment uh, supplies and expenses, the, 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 those are things like um, stationary stamps, uh, chairs, we're, you know, we're doing a uh, refurbish of uh, the office, cosmetic refurbish, uh, 
Uh, gasoline is gasoline. You can never be quite sure about that. I've already explained about cemetery improvements. As far as replacement equipment, we are this year hoping to get those two new mowers that we are going to get last year. The only reason we didn't, uh, we had a piece of equipment, uh, actually a leaf and a um, pine needle sucker. That was $4,000, and all my guys wanted that. Instead of having to shovel things in the truck, now they can just hold down and suck them all up. Um, so, but we did have to baby those two mowers, and but we got them through the season, and uh, they will they will be replaced this year or next year, I should Thank say. You. I, just speaking for myself, I, I I can't. I would not vote for the budget simply because I would need more. Like when you say contracted services, well, I don't know what they're going to be, and you say cemetery improvement, I don't have a plan yet. I would like to see a plan. I'm like to see where the money's going. I'm going to make a motion <clears throat> that we be uh, come back in two weeks with a uh, a uh, price for the fence to uh, be replaced. Uh, it'll be around two thousand. It'll, it'll be around two thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Well, we need we need someone to we need to see the uh, you know a uh, estimate an estimate, and uh, I would say with and without the the price if they take the fence down and the price if they don't take the fence down in case we're able to do it uh through the sheriff's yeah. department yeah. so i'd like to make that motion well i would like to add to that yeah. that contracted services what, what what contracted services what, what are we talking about you know when, when somebody it's comes anyone in, we have to hire to come in like okay, I, I just had the building no, i know that but what i'm saying is when dpw comes in or something they say contracted services they say we got to hire people for snow plowing we got a very specific and I, I just my own I, feeling i can't approve something that's just general just i think well, well, well you do. may see you may call it general mr waddell but i'll tell you something of the 25 largest cemeteries in the state we're the only ones operating under two hundred thousand dollars a year so we must be doing something right sir you, you must be but i'm just asking for a more specific budget. it's hard to tell it's hard to tell i don't know you know back from what you've done last year come in with with what contracted services you had to use this year just well we had to get roads fixed we had to get tree, trees uh, all the trees we take but down that comes to the I don't know I don't know how many trees are going to fall next year I can't sit here and tell you well we're going to have five if pine I, trees I, fall I may, next Mr. year Mr. Chairman if I may yeah. may um, Mr. Kenny is is the chairman rightfully is asking for information and he's requesting it and okay, you're going to well. provide it and it doesn't have to be down to the penny, but you can you can do that. You can there was a tr the trees snow removing, uh, you know, all that stuff, yeah. yeah. And, and and have that listed so he knows, and he rightfully asked for that. And uh, is there a second on the motion? We'd like it down to the penny about the um, fence, though. All right, I'll second that whole motion. All in favor? That I can do. Yeah. Uh, but again, I can't tell you how many trees are going to fall next year. <laughs> I can't, you know, that one one pine tree is four thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, so. That when you talk about contracted services, there's just no possible way to. And it would be good to have the two prices, the one with them taking down the fence and without it, so that we can see just what type of a bargain we're getting from the um, sheriff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Thank you. Jill.